Last year, we were kind of in the midst of COVID and I was doing an online internship and I found myself getting pretty bored, trapped in the apartment all day. So my dad, who's been skydiving for about 40 years now, said, come learn to skydive. Early July last year, I showed up and I completed my accelerating freefall training in one weekend and I was in the sky and that was it. Just like if I'm taking an engineering test, I'm very uh, goal-oriented with what I want to do. Um, and I work really hard and that's why I have so many jumps at this point because I'm really determined. You just never run out of things to do in Knoxville. It feels like everywhere you go, there's just uh, a little community there of people who have shared interests. Fall semester of my sophomore year, we took a trip out to Anaheim, California for the annual Sweet Conference, which is the biggest women engineers conference in the nation. Someone happened to stop me and he was from the Missile Defense Agency, but we really hit it off and we talked for maybe 40 minutes and all of a sudden he looks at me and he says, I want you to come work for me. And I said, what? <laughs> I'm only 19, but okay. And, and he handed me this pamphlet and said, this is the SMART scholarship and this is how I want you to come work for me. After I graduate, I will be working for them for two years at least after graduation. That's kind of how the scholarship works out. And it's such a relief knowing that I have my career kind of already jump started for me. I feel really lucky. I will say whenever I went to career fairs, um, it wasn't my GPA that mattered. It wasn't as much the clubs that mattered. What mattered was the solid experience that I've gotten. And I highly recommend that you go for undergraduate research uh, positions whenever they you know, come up to your doorstep. And it's not hard to find one.